Hey, this is Tom. Uh, I want to show you the 110 block I'm using for my home phone wiring. Uh, it's a Leviton 100 pair CAF IV 110 block. And what I did was I set up the bridge. And what I have here is a bunch of uh, lengths of twisted pair, just individual pairs. Uh, daisy chain throughout the throughout the base of the block so we have the blue white coming up and down and up and down over each pair and I have 16 of these and I have 8 of uh, the orange 6 of the green and 6 of the brown and each one is going to be a bridge what the bridge does is instead of looping uh, jumper cables around the top of the connector blocks you set up the bridge and then you just set one one pair uh, from each outlet to the bridge and the bridge will be connected to the dial tone so just to go over it uh, this is the base of the 110 block the up on top here is where I'm going to be punching down my station cables these are going to be the cables that go to uh, each wall jack in each room and I'm only sending one phone line to each room except for a couple rooms which we'll get two for various reasons. Uh, the incoming line will be punched down here and this is where I have the bridge and the bridge is punched in on the base and if you could see the base is down here and on top after I after I ran the the daisy chained pairs I punched down these C clips and each C clip Each C clip uh, you can use to punch down four cables, four pairs, and they have uh, three pair C clips and five pair C clips. So basically, once you put your wires down, like when I put my station cables down here, I'll eventually put the clip down there here, and then I could run from say the dining room line one to the line one bridge, and I could provide line one to uh, the dining room or the dining room I want and I did things a little bit differently than I have on my website and I'll wind up updating it uh, my primary line uh, my residential line is going to be my files line it's going to be line one and I have two VoIP numbers that are used for work uh, lines three and lines four line two right now is uh, reserved for future use I'm not really using it because I don't fax anymore so what I'm gonna so what I wound up doing differently is instead of having uh, alternating blue orange green brown blue orange green brown and making a bridge I just split it out to have a bridge for line one a bridge for line two a bridge for line three and a bridge for line four and the reason I did this is because all of my phones are gonna have line one only some of my phones are gonna have lines three and lines four so I instead of um, using up all the space for the bridge which I'm not going to use all the lines for I wound up having three more spots to punch down cables and you can see here uh, if I put the label in just a little clearer what I have and I have line one bridge line two bridge line three bridge line four bridge and I left two uh, areas where I could punch down station cables for future use if I need to and one thing I want to show you now is just to it's probably not necessary but uh, it doesn't take long for a small installation with one block like this I want to check make sure the bridge is wired correctly and that all the uh, IDC contacts work so I just have my Milwaukee digital multimeter here and I set it to uh, this symbol here which looks like a sound and that's what it is it's basically it generates a sound when there's continuity and I have one lead in uh, voltage ohms and the other in common and on the leads here I wound up just connecting a couple scrap lengths of the twisted pair individual cables and stripped off the edges the ends and what I just want to do here is just test to make sure 
that I do have indeed I do have continuity on the top of the C4 clip across the whole bridge. So let's check line two. Now we have two wires, a white orange and an orange for line two. So if we start by putting one of these wires into the first slot for a wire, this is going to be connected down here to the base to the white orange wire for line two. So if we put the next wire in the next spot, uh, we're not going to hear anything because that's that's the white orange wire on the bottom. But if you go to the next one over, we're going to hear a beep. And then the next one white is going to be orange, no beep. Uh, and every other one should beep. And now we'll check the orange, the solid color. And the first one, no beep. And every other one should beep. And if it doesn't beep, it means there's a problem with the way the IDC was punched down. And we can check line two, line one as well. Just every other one should beep. I mean, generally this works, and this is what the blocks are made to do, but every once in a while things go wrong, and at least now I know that if I do have some sort of wiring problem where I'm not getting dial tone to a phone, I can rule out the bridge as the source of the problem. So it'll just save some time. And I've already checked this and everything's working fine. And I've checked the other ones. And that's basically it. So this will get mounted to my structured uh, my structured wiring panel. And I'll start feeding in the the telephone lines which are already started to run start punching it down and then i'll move my incoming lines here uh, do the cross connects to the bridge which i'll show later and we should have phone service